So now we completed about Rismos inflorescence. Now we are going towards uh, another inflorescence that is nothing but uh, Cymos inflorescence. Now, in cymose inflorescence, uh, whether it is called as definite inflorescence or indefinite inflorescence means uh, cymose inflorescence is also called as uh, definite uh, type of inflorescence, definite type of uh, inflorescence. Why it is called as definite type of inflorescence means, uh, see here, uh, this is the peduncle. Peduncle is long elongated. This is the peduncle. Peduncle is long elongated. The terminal bud of the peduncle opens into flower. The terminal bud of the peduncle, terminal bud of a peduncle opens into flower, opens into flower. So, the growth of the peduncle is stopped. So, the growth of the peduncle is stopped. So, the growth of the peduncle is stopped. So, it shows a definite or indefinite growth means, so peduncle shows, peduncle shows, which growth means definite growth. Peduncle shows definite growth here. In cymose inflorescence, also called as definite type of inflorescence, where the peduncle is long elongated, terminal bud of the peduncle opens into flower. So, the growth of the peduncle is stopped. So, the peduncle shows a definite growth. And what happens means that this is the first formed older flower. This is the first formed older flower. This is the first formed which one here? This is the first formed older flower in cymose inflorescence. You can take any type of cymose inflorescence. In that cymose inflorescence, the first formed older flower itself, it occupies the terminal bud of the peduncle. Why? Because the terminal bud of the peduncle, it opens into flower, opens into flower. And what happens means, in cymose inflorescence, in cymose inflorescence, Elongated peduncle, elongated peduncle. In cymose inflorescence, if the peduncle is elongated, plus uh, if it is belonging to cymose type, then the flowers are arranged in basi petal manner. Then the flowers are arranged in which manner? Basi petal manner. What is meant by basi petal arrangement? That means, uh, for example, think these are the younger flowers. Here the younger flowers, younger flowers are present towards base and older flowers, uh, older flowers are present towards uh, apex. Younger flowers are present towards base and older flowers are present towards uh, apex. So this type of arrangement itself, it indicates that is nothing but basi petal manner, basi petal manner. Peduncle is condensed. Peduncle is condensed. Peduncle is condensed means flowers if they are arranged in centripetal or centrifugal manner means flowers are arranged in centrifugal manner. Flowers are arranged in which manner? Centrifugal manner. For example, this is the condensed peduncle. That means the center of the peduncle, it shows uh, larger flowers. Center of the peduncle, it shows uh, older flowers. But whereas the peripheral part of the peduncle, it shows uh, younger flowers. This is nothing but peripheral part of the peduncle, it shows uh, younger flowers. Whereas the central part of the peduncle, center region of peduncle, central region of uh, peduncle, it shows uh, older flowers. Uh, this is about the cymose inflorescence. Cymose inflorescence also called as definite type of inflorescence. I already explained why it is definite type of inflorescence. If you see all these points and whereas uh, if elongated peduncle plus cymose means flowers are arranged in 
base is petal manner older flowers towards base and younger flowers are present towards apex whether it is called as base is petal arrangement no here the younger flowers are present towards base and older flowers are present towards apex then it is called as centrifuge then it is called as base is petal arrangement pedicle is condensed that means uh, the flowers are arranged in which manner centrifugal manner that means older flowers present towards center and younger flowers are present towards uh, periphery in cymose inflorescence what is the first type of inflorescence means uh, that is a solitary cyme solitary cyme that is nothing but a uh, it shows us it is nothing but single flower inflorescence single flowered inflorescence solitary cyme means it is none other than called as a single flowered inflorescence and what happens means in this solitary cyme what is the first example means in this the first example that is nothing but hibiscus rosa sinensis in this hibiscus rosa sinensis uh, in this uh, which bud is modified means uh, axillary bud is modified into axillary bud is modified into single flower inflorescence single flower inflorescence that means uh, axillary solitary cyme inflorescence can be seen in hibiscus rosa sinensis in hibiscus rosa sinensis which bud is modified into single flowered inflorescence axillary bud is modified into single flowered inflorescence that means uh, see here think this is the in this axillary bud is modified into single inflorescence uh, in this what happens means uh, this is the rough diagram belongs to rough diagram belongs to which one hibiscus rosa sinensis in this uh, part of the stalk uh, of the hibiscus rosa sinensis it is called as a pedicel half of the stalk in hibiscus rosa sinensis which is present towards the basal portion it is called as a pedicel and half of the portion which is present half of the stalk uh, which is present above the pedicel is called as a peduncle is called as which one here peduncle in this uh, the stalk of the flower actually stalk of the flower is called as pedicel but whereas this pedicel it shows two parts uh, half of the half of the stalk which is uh, half of the stalk which occupies the basal portion which is called as pedicel and half of the stalk which is present above the pedicel it is called as peduncle it can be identified with an articulation between the two it can be identified with an articulation between the two this is nothing but the solitary cyme in hibiscus rosa sinensis and another flower that is nothing but datura another flower that is nothing but in datura flower what happens means in this terminal in this terminal solitary cyme can be seen here in datura flower terminal solitary cyme can be seen in hibiscus rosa sinensis axillary solitary cyme can be seen axillary solitary cyme can be seen and these two types of inflorescences are coming under solitary cyme solitary cyme means it itself it indicates single flowered inflorescence can you tell me how many types of inflorescences which looks like single flower single flowered inflorescence of that one it is nothing but uh, which one means a head inflorescence one it is a head inflorescence and the second one it is a solitary cyme and the second one it is a solitary cyme so these two are the inflorescences which looks like single flowered inflorescences what are the first type of inflorescences which looks like single flower means that is nothing but head inflorescence and another one it is nothing but a solitary cyme inflorescence next it is nothing but a monocacial cyme monocacial cyme in this how many types means one it is a helicoid monocacial cyme helicoid monocacial cyme and second one it is a 
स्कॉर्पियाइड मोनोकेशियल साइम वन इट इज एलिकाइड मोनोकेशियल साइम सेकेंड वन इट इज स्कॉर्पियाइड मोनोकेशियल साइम एंड वेर एज फॉर मोनोके हेलिकाइड मोनोकेशियल साइम एग्जाम्पल नेमली नोन एज हिमेलिया एंड वट आर दट अनदर एग्जाम्पल मीन्स फॉर दिस सोलानम फॉर दिस सोलानम मोनोकेशियल साइम टू टाइप्स वन इट इज एलिकाइड मोनोकेशियल साइम हेमेलिया इज वन ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल एंड द वन इट इज स्कॉर्पियाइड मोनोकेशियल साइम एग्जाम्पल नथिंग बट सोलानम नाउ इन दिस मोनोकेशियल साइम always uh, if single branch arises that is nothing but mono that means i will explain here this is the peduncle this is the peduncle is long elongated peduncle is long elongated the terminal bud of the peduncle terminal bud of the peduncle terminates into flower terminal bud of the peduncle terminates into flower terminates into flower that means whether it is first formed flower yes it is nothing but first formed flower that means uh, peduncle shows definite or indefinite growth peduncle shows uh, definite growth peduncle shows which growth here definite growth peduncle shows uh, definite growth now in this uh, below the first formed older flower below the first formed older flower below the first formed older flower second flower sec first branch is arising below the first formed older flower first branch arises what i am saying is and carefully below the first formed older flower first branch arises uh, this is called as first branch this is called as which one here first branch this is called as first branch now this branch also shows definite growth why because the terminal bud of the branch also terminates into flower terminal bud of branch also terminates into flower also terminates into which one here flower also terminates into flower now here what happens means second flower is opposite to first bract that means in this uh, monocacial sign flowers are arising towards the apex of the branches and the flowers are opposite to the and the bracts are opposite to the flowers that means this is the first formed bract this is the first bract this is the first bract and this is the second formed flower this is the second flower this is nothing but which flower second flower now from the base of the second formed flower from the base of the second formed flower second branch is arising from the base of the second formed flower which branch is arising second branch is arising and this uh, second branch also shows definite growth why because it also terminates into flower this flower is called as a third flower no this flower is called as which flower third flower once again i am explaining clearly listen this is the peduncle peduncle is long elongated the terminal bud of the peduncle opens into first formed flower that means the peduncle shows definite growth the terminal bud terminates into flower just now only i explain from the base of the first formed flower first branch is arising this branch also shows definite growth why because terminal bud of the branch also terminates into flower this is nothing but second formed flower and this second formed flower is opposite to first bract second formed flower is opposite to first bract from the base of the second formed flower second branch is arising this second branch also shows definite growth why because it also terminates into flower what is the number third flower and this third flower is opposite to second bract third flower is opposite to which bract here second bract likewise uh, branches are continuously developing from one side only likewise branches are developing continuously from one side continuously developing from like this continuously developing from one side due to which whether weight is appear towards one side no due to which weight is appear towards 
one side due to which whether this peduncle whether it is drooping or non drooping means due to which the peduncle is drooping due to which the peduncle is drooping this is about a helicoid monocacial syme in hemalia helicoid monocacial syme in hemalia next goes to monocacial scorpioid syme in this what happens means this is the peduncle peduncle is long elongated the terminal bud of the peduncle terminates into flower terminal bud of the peduncle terminal bud of the peduncle terminates into flower this is the first formed flower this is the first formed flower from the base of the first formed flower single branch arises from the base of the first formed flower single branch arises this single branch also shows definite growth why because it also terminates into flower and from the base of the second formed flower second branch is arising second branch is arising this branch also shows definite growth why because it also terminates into flower from the base of the second third formed flower from the base of the third formed flower third branch is arising from the base of the from the base of the third formed flower third branch is arising here this branch also shows definite growth why because it also terminates into flower why because it also terminates into flower so due to which here the branches are whether they are arising from one side or branches are arising in zigzag manner here the branches are arising in which manner zigzag manner branches are arising in zigzag manner but when it is compared with helicoid monocacial syme here the branches are arising from one side so weight is a uh, weight occurs towards one side due to which this inflorescence is it is showing bending nature in hemalia but whereas in solanum whether the bending nature can be seen the pen peduncle shows bending nature here peduncle shows uh, drooping nature here no why because here the branches they are not arising from the same side branches are arising in zigzag manner due to which weight is not occur towards one side due to which this here the peduncle does not shows drooping here the peduncle there does not shows drooping this is about monocacial syme minimum number of branches minimum number of branches minimum number of flowers in order to identify helicoid monocacial syme or or scorpioid monocacial syme means here how many branches are required means two branches and how many flowers are required three flowers are required how many branches and how many flowers are required minimum number of branches minimum number of flowers in order to recognize whether the monocacial syme whether it is helicoid type or scorpioid type simple see here that means uh, this is nothing but uh, monocacial helicoid syme example hemalia how many minimum flowers three flowers how many branches are required two branches are required due to which we can re easily recognize this inflorescence of monocacial syme itself it is nothing but hemalia but whereas uh, in this uh, monocacial scorpioid syme in this what happens means uh, how many branches are required here here two two branches are required how many flowers are required three flowers are required that means minimum number of branches minimum number of flowers in order to recognize a monocacial syme which is belonging to helicoid monocacial and scorpioid monocacial that is nothing but how many branches and how many flowers two branches and three flowers here also two branches where branches are arising from same side here two branches branches are arising in a branches are arranged in which manner zigzag manner branches are arranged in zigzag manner this is about a monocacial syme and here one more thing number of branches is equal to in here what happens means number of branches is equal to number of flowers number of branches is equal to number of flowers minus 1 why because here how many branches are present here one this is one two three how many flowers are present one two three four what i told number of branches how many here one two three 
नंबर ऑफ ब्रांचेस इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ फ्लावर्स नंबर ऑफ फ्लावर्स आर ऑमे नी वन टू थ्री फोर दैट मींस नंबर ऑफ ब्रांचेस इज इक्वल टू थ्री नंबर ऑफ फ्लावर्स इज इक्वल टू फोर माइनस वन दैट इट सेल्फ इट इंडिकेट्स थ्री इज द आंसर थ्री इज द आंसर नाउ कैन यू टेल मी नंबर ऑफ फ्लावर्स इज इक्वल टू नाउ यर नंबर ऑफ फ्लावर्स इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ flowers uh, is equal to number of branches uh, plus 1 number of branches plus 1 number of flowers here how many number of flowers 1 2 3 4 number of branches are how many 1 2 3 plus 1 that itself it indicates uh, according to this diagram number of flowers are 4 why because number of branches how many 1 2 3 so this itself it indicates the monoecial sign Now we are going to simple sime or sime yule. Another type of cymose in flower sense itself it is nothing but simple sime or sime yule. This simple sime or sime yule it is nothing but two branched, three flowered. Two branched, three flowered, uh, inflorescence. Uh, inflorescence uh, itself, it is called as a simple cyme or cymule. What happens means uh, here the peduncle is uh, peduncle is long elongated. The terminal bud of the peduncle opens into flower. Terminal bud of the peduncle opens into flower. This is called as uh, first to formed flower this is called as a first formed flower from the base of the first formed flower two branches are arising from the base of the first formed flower two branches are arising these branches also shows definite growth why because it also terminates into flower it also terminates into flower and due to which which type of arrangement we look here now in this simple cyme or cymule means in this we observe here basi petal arrangement we observe here which arrangement basi petal arrangement what is meant by basi petal arrangement younger flowers are present towards base older flowers are present towards apex itself it is called as basi petal arrangement if we see this diagram if we see this diagram in this diagram what it indicates means uh, here the flowers are arranged in which manner means uh, flowers are arranged in which manner here centrifugal manner why because uh, if we see the diagram we can say that here the flowers are arranged in centrifugal manner but actually here the flowers are arranged in basi petal manner why because older flowers are present towards base and younger flowers are present towards apex but if we see this diagram here this diagram itself it indicates that flowers are arranged in centrifugal manner why because older flowers it looks like it looks like older flowers are present towards center and younger flowers are present towards periphery based upon that in this simple cyme or cymule is here the flowers are arranged in centrifugal manner but actually here the flowers are arranged in basi petal arrangement why because older flowers are present towards apex and younger flowers are present towards base younger flowers are present towards base now in this simple cyme or cymule only one time branching occurs or two time or three times or four times branching occurs means in this only only one time branching occurs in this only one time branching occurs in this only which time how many times branching occurs in this only one time branching occurs in this only one time branching it occurs this is about simple cyme or cymule next goes to dicasial cyme next goes to dicasial cyme in this dicasial cyme one it is uh, ipomia one example that is nothing but uh, ipomia in this dicasial cyme what happens means at a time how many branches are developing means uh, at a time two branches develops at a time how many branches develops two branches uh, develops at a time at a time how many branches are developing 
two branches are developing. Now, in this what happens means the peduncle is long elongated. The terminal bud of the peduncle opens into flower. Terminal bud of the peduncle opens into opens into which one? Flower. Terminal bud of the peduncle opens into flower. That is nothing but a first formed flower. That is nothing but a first formed flower. From the base of the first formed flower, two branches develops at a time. Two branches develops at a time. These two branches also shows definite growth. Why? Because it also terminates into flower. Now see here. First time branching. Branching. Number of branches. Number of branches. Next, number of flowers. Number of branches and number of flowers. Now tell me, first time branching. Your first time branching. First time which one here? First time branching. First time branching means uh, how many branches are present? Two branches are present. First time branching, two branches are present. How many flowers are present means 1, 2 plus 3. So, first time branching, two branches and three flowers are present. Now, what happens means as now second time branching. At a time, how many branches develops? I told now, two branches are developing. At a time, two branches they are developed. That means that these branches also shows definite growth. Why? Because they also terminates into flower. Why? Because they also terminates into which one? Flower. Now, see here. Second time branching. How many branches are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this is first branch, second branch, third branch, fourth branch, fifth branch, sixth branch. So, what is the number of branches? 6. What is the number of flowers? 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 plus 1, 7 flowers. Now, third time branching. Now, what happens means uh, third time branching. Now, goes to third time branching. Now, during third time branching, what happens means uh, from the base of the branch uh, here, again two branches develops at a time. Again, two branches develops uh, at a time. Now, how many branches are present? Here, already we seen here six branches. Already here we seen the six branches. This is the seventh branch, eighth branch. 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th and 14 branches can be seen. How many flowers can be seen? 15 flowers can be seen in dicasial sign. At a time, how many branches are developing? Two branches. So, your peduncle is long elongated. The terminal bud of the peduncle opens into flower, first formed flower. Likewise, at a time, how many branches? I told two branches. So, first time branching, how many branches? Two branches and three flowers. Second time branching, six branches, seven flowers. Third time branching, 14 branches and 15 flowers. So this itself indicates this is nothing but a dicasial sign. Next goes to polycasial sign. Next goes to polycasial sign. Example for polycasial sign that is nothing but a nerium. Already in the nerium we studied about a uh, whole phyllotaxy, whole phyllotaxy and here we studied about polycasial sign. In this uh, nerium what happens means think this is the peduncle, peduncle is long elongated, peduncle is long elongated. Terminal bud of the peduncle, terminal bud of the peduncle terminates into first formed flower. First formed which one here? First formed flower. From the base of the first formed flower, more than two branches are developed. More than how many branches are developing? Three, more than two branches. I am not saying three branches here. That may be more than two means that may be three, four, five, six, seven, eight also. So, here from the base of the first formed flower, more than two branches are developed. And these branches also shows definite growth. Why? Because they also terminates into flower. Why? Because they also terminates into 
flower if more than two branches they are developing and that branches if they are show also shows a definite growth why because the terminal bud of the branches if they are terminates into flower and this type of a cymose inflorescence itself it is called as polycasial cyme polycasial cyme now here assertion what is a assertion means in polycasial cyme in the nerium three branches develops at a time in the nerium in the nerium in bracket polycasial cyme three branches develops uh, three branches develops uh, at a time three branches develops uh, at a time yes in the nerium how many branches are developing means at a time three branches are developing but polycasial cyme means more than two branches but in the nerium how many branches are developing three branches are developing reason in the nerium vol phyllotaxy in nerium which phyllotaxy vol phyllotaxy how many leaves are developing means three leaves develops from a node three leaves develops from a node so what is the option what is the answer here it is correct means assertion in the nerium polycasial cyme three branches develops at a time and reason in the nerium vol phyllotaxy that means from one node three leaves are developing what is the option means a is right r is right r is not correct explanation for a a is right r is right r is not correct explanation for a this is about uh, polycasial cyme this it's this we completed cymose inflorescence